Once upon a time, there were two best friends. One of them had a computer, and the other one sucked. That's my secret cap. Oh, we should probably turn off the fan. Listen, I'll turn off the fan in exchange for only having to eat three farts. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? I mean, if you drive, like, I'll eat five of them. Like, you're what driving the fuck a hard bargain. <laughs> Why are you eating farts? I just assumed that that was the exchange rate for. That's a weird. No, what? No! What? No! Go turn off the fan! Jesus! At least say please. I'll like, fight you. If you're not gonna make me eat farts, say please. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> anyway, hello everybody. Welcome to Chilling with the Fart Eaters. It's. What's the exchange rate for services per farts eaten? What the fuck are you on? I don't know. <laughs> That's just what happens when you're not binary. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, hi people. We're the we're the um we're the <laughs> FBI's most wanted coming at you. Well, yeah, according to your fucking <laughs> writing on bathroom stall fucking weirdo shit, uh, the terrorists win because I was there. You're not going to let that one go, are you? No, it's that one specifically that I'm upset about. <laughs> Everything else it was at least funny, but that one's, that one's bad. <laughs> that one's explicitly bad. Now the FBI thinks I'm part of ISIS. What, they definitely think you're a Nazi. I mean, after the years of... <laughs> Listen... I said it was a bit, so they can't take me seriously. So, we said it was a bit here. No, you actually did that. <laughs> that was a bit. Yeah, well, yeah, now I'm not a nicest member. There you go. See? You know what? I'm going to say this with zero sense of irony, because I know you used to hate it when we lived together. What have you been up to, dude? Oh, man. So much stuff. So much. <laughs> Are you gonna are you gonna expand that? I don't think so. I don't think I will. No, I don't know. I've been you, you know me. So like I'm going to school, right? Yeah. And I got my business, right? I got um those two things. And then I got my relationship, you know, I got that. That's a thing. I mean and that's I, one very blase way to like reconfirm that you're going to be a married man eventually. This, but. Is, this is correct. I am I am an engaged man. Uh, but then I also have dogs, and I got a cat. I guess um, you know some. I got uh, groceries. <laughs> Perhaps a best friend. Yeah, I got that. I Did got that too. I got some things. You know. What's up with you, man? The gym. <laughs> See, I, I joke that, like, at this point in my life, my entire personality is my cat in the gym. But when pe whenever anyone asks me what I'm up to, I have it's zero the answers. Gym. It's the gym. Yep. That's the answer. Yep. <laughs> yep. You need a hobby. I do have a hobby. We should brainstorm you a hobby. A real hobby. Terrorism? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have several questions to ask. Everything I read on the bathroom stall comes true. <laughs> they were prophecies. <laughs> the gypsy woman was right. I got chocolate on my leggings, and now it looks like I... Shit yourself from the front? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I pee pee poo poo. <laughs> anyway, I have four questions to ask your best friend, but it's only going to be three. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. The first one is, if you had to create a random rule for me to follow the next time we go out, what would it be? Only for the next time we go the out? Only the next time. Uh, and it can't be anything to endanger myself or someone else. Uh, That's a rule that I uh, recommend. Uh, because okay, I fine. think for you, I would make it you have to speak in a Scottish accent. And when anyone asks you where you're from, you have to be like, in a completely American accent, Ireland. <laughs> That's okay. my rule for you. Okay. 
All right, so we're going. We're. It's gonna be a funny thing. It, it can. It's be. gotta be a funny thing. No, okay. I've chosen. Not like for a for your fun. own safety. You should stop. I don't like the implication of your tone. <laughs> <laughs> Saying this out the whole rise again. <laughs> I don't actually say that in any serious... <laughs> the only place those words have been uttered on record is on this channel. <laughs> and it was from a soundboard. I didn't even actually say it. This is the only record we have. No, I have a TikTok. Uh, you know what? All right. And an Instagram. <sighs> and a Twitter. And a Facebook. Hmm. Should I just sign up for Pornhub, too, and leave comments? <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not be known for your curated taste of adult films? It's not curated. curated. It's all J.O.I.'s. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be told what to do. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, Alright, so a rule. Um. Try not to go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right. What's the next question? <laughs> All right. In your opinion, what is the most, quote, classically me, end quote, thing I've ever done? Oh, man. The most Miguel thing that Miguel has ever done. I, so, what pops into mind is not the most Miguel thing that you've ever done, Right. But immediately I do think of that one time where you took a shit in the parking lot. Okay, so the story <laughs> behind that one. For no other reason than it felt like something you would no, do. No, 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 there was a reason. Because 14 by 9 <laughs> told me that I wouldn't just shit in the parking lot. But the most... It's not really the most you thing, but it's the most us things. Of how often we would end up in a trunk together. <laughs> oh my god. So, it never fit, like, before we moved out to here, this, in in the, quote, south, um, which will not rise again, by the way. <laughs> you know, for all you woke bitches out there who don't like the Confederacy. <laughs> <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't coming off better. <laughs> Why not? Just give it a try. <laughs> if you believed in me. Anyway, um, when we were like living in Arizona and California, we would, anytime we're going to a party, especially on fucking New Year's, we would always end up getting there in someone's trunk. Yep, we're getting in the trunk. Like for some reason, we'd be the only ones willing to do it. Let's see, what's the most classically you thing? Jumping off a balcony. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. like 100%. There's no question. <laughs> There's nothing except that. There's a balcony. I'm jumping off it. All I right. do be jumping off balconies. Uh, this one's... Uh, I'll just fucking ask it. It's kind of lame. All right. But do you think I follow my heart or mind more? Hmm. Because, believe it or not, despite the fact that uh, you fashion yourself a man of logic and understanding. I actually think you follow your heart way more than your mind. I, man, I gotta say, I'm not sure how many neurons your mind has left. One. <laughs> but and it's they, dedicated to the amount of reps I'm putting up. <laughs> they certainly don't trump the bombastic beat of your heart. I mean... It's just a joyous chorus of unknowable energy in there. You do things, and you have no idea why you do things, and that's no. how I know you're not following your mind. Okay, but it's like... Not, it's not a logic... There's no logic there. You just do. And then you consider what you did later. So it's funny you say that, because back in the day, right, um, you used to say that... I did follow my own weirdo logic that makes sense in my brain, but, like, not in the way that it would to anyone else. Yeah, I mean, I'll... I'll put it... I'll put it that way. I don't think that you have a conventional form of logic. I don't think that it is conventional by any means. Yeah, it's called autism. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... But I think that you, um... Something makes sense in your head, and if you're asked to communicate... 
how it made sense to you, it hides. It's really hard. Like, it goes away. You just can't communicate it because you know that if you try to put it in any conventional... What are you doing? I'm sorry. I, it was... It was... <laughs> I felt compelled. <laughs> anyway. That wasn't a bit. I actually just did that. <laughs> Alright, we'll fucking see you people in the next episode, I guess. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>